Greetings, YouTube family. A year has come and gone. Just this past week, I met my weight loss goal. So you might be asking, where do I go from here? Well, physically, I feel like I've arrived. But what about mentally and spiritually? These two areas, I don't feel, will ever reach the end of the journey. But what I do think is that I can now keep progressing, learning, striving, and working toward becoming a more thoughtful, awakened, and present person. I look forward to the journey, this new part, this extended part, year two of the journey with anticipation, with excitement for what each day can bring. I love walking with Patch. You all know that. I love doing yoga. I love reading daily devotionals and finding new people to listen to new authors to read. I also love sharing my story. I want others to be as excited about living as I am. I want others to see the possibilities in life, to feel hope in their soul, even when life's daily routine can tear you down. Am I perfectly happy all of the time? Oh my gosh, <laughs> no. I have moments, even days, that I feel the old spiral of life trying to take me down. Sometimes I take two steps back for every step I have taken forward. The difference between now and a year ago, I've learned some tricks to help me move forward again. These tricks are part of the story I hope to share. Please know there's not a single trick that I've created on my own. I've begged, I've borrowed, and stolen every little thing I've read or listened to that helps me from moment to moment, day to day. I listen to the encouragement of others to improve what goes in my mouth. I've borrowed from the yoga videos I use, and I've used the miles of walking to sift through life, keeping the pieces that are important to me. If there's something I've created, it's how to use all of those tidbits of other people's wisdom in a way that helps me. If you choose to hang with me on this next leg of the journey, it's my hope that I can inspire you to start and continue or continue your own journey. Maybe provide you with a spark to begin your own exploration of authors to read and people to listen to. Maybe get you moving if you aren't already. I promise you can enjoy exercise. Take it from someone who never ever enjoyed moving. I mean ever. And possibly encourage you to begin thinking about the food choices you make. We are what we eat after all. I'm not going to lie, I'm also continuing this journey for selfish reasons. Helping others keeps me accountable. How many people change their lifestyle, reach a goal, and then slide back? Old habits are hard to break, after all. Right now, I crave the great feeling of the lifestyle changes I've made. But will it last? I suspect the challenges of keeping this lifestyle change is not unlike the challenges uh, a recovered alcoholic or drug addict faces. Isn't the fear of spiraling, spiraling backwards always there? That's why recovered substance abusers are so great at sharing their stories and helping others. So I didn't abuse alcohol or drugs. I abused food. I was inactive and much more closed-minded. In the end, it's all about lifestyle change and sticking to it. I hope you'll join me as I move forward. I hope you'll join me and move forward with me. I hope I can inspire and help, even in the smallest of ways. Until next time, enjoy life. Subscribe to the channel. Share it. Look for me on Instagram and TikTok. Besides on Facebook, I'm going to try venturing out into some new spaces. And God bless. Have a great week.